Hello everyone, this is Tech Hoarder. I wanted to go through and do some videos on the original Xbox, so I thought I'd start off with this Xbox right here. It hasn't been turned on in probably at least six months. It's a virgin Xbox. It uh, has never been opened before, and its uh, manufacturing date is in 2002, so we know it's an older version Xbox. So I'm going to go ahead right now and open this thing up and we're going to first remove the clock capacitor. So the reason why we're removing the clock capacitor is because it uh, is known for leaking and um, if it leaks onto the board it can cause trace damage and uh, we may have problems with the Xbox booting up. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just pulling back these tabs just a little bit here, these feet I should say. We move these feet back just a little bit here and removing the six screws that hold the top cover on. Okay, and then the two middle screws are right here behind this Thunderbolt icon. And then right where this number is, right here, on this bottom label. To open that up was with the T20 Torx. So now we flip the unit over. And pry it apart. There we go. Now we're going to need a T10 for the rest of this. And first thing I'm going to do is just move this out of the way. We're going to remove the IDE cable and the power. We'll take this top screw out. And now the whole tray should be able to come up and out. Okay. Now there's two screws. One is on the right side of the DVD drive. The other is on the left side of the DVD drive. Pull those out and we're good. Take out the IDE moving cable there and the power cable. And the DVD drive is free. So, the clock capacitor is this capacitor right here, and by the looks of it, it hasn't leaked yet, so that's a really good sign. So we're going to remove it now. Take that out, take that out. Um, we have a uh, GPU fan, so we know that this is a 1.0 Xbox. All right, take our T10 and go around the board and remove the screws. So now I'm gonna go underneath my uh, inspection camera to remove this capacitor. Although you don't really need to that you just got to heat up both sides and pull it out or you can just twist it out but I'm going to use that, use the uh, soldering iron to remove it. I have a completely different Xbox sitting here on the table right now. This is actually a 1.6 Xbox and I wanted to discuss this really quick before moving forward just to make sure that if you happen to have this version of Xbox you do not need to continue any further with the tutorial. This version of Xbox does not need its clock capacitor removed. And the way you can identify this version of Xbox is simply that it does not have extra pads for the RAM. So if you look right here, you have one stick of RAM, and here you have a second stick of RAM. I'm going to move this over just a little bit here. And you can see here that there are no pads here for where the RAM memory is, and there are no pads here either. 
So if you have an Xbox that does have the pads here, that version of Xbox is the one you'd want to remove the clock capacitor on. For those users with the 1.6 Xbox, I would recommend that you skip ahead to the soft mod tutorial. After that, you can follow the tutorial on how to hard mod your Xbox with a mod chip. Okay, so here we are underneath the inspection camera. I wanted to show you what this clock capacitor looked like. So we can kind of see in this area here that this cl clock capacitor has already started to leak a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to flip the board over and we're going to go ahead and begin removing this clock capacitor. And uh, as you can see, here are the two points on the motherboard where we're going to remove the clock cap. So I'm going to go ahead and tin my solder iron just real quick and apply a little bit of solder to this. Now, um, just get that heated up. And what I'm going to be doing is taking my left hand and pressing against the clock capacitor. Um, so essentially I'm going to be pushing it so that the leg will start to slide out of each side. So now I'm pulling the capacitor toward me and now I'm going to be pressing it away from me. Sorry I can't control this camera and and remove the clock capacitor and the soldering iron at the same time. And right there the clock capacitor would just fall right out. Here's what the clock capacitor looks like. I'll just get this into focus here and you can see it doesn't look too healthy there. Um, actually the leg also came out inside the motherboard which is alright it's not going to hurt anything to have that leg just standing there but um, yeah you can see this clock capacitor has already leaked quite a bit so it's a good thing we pulled this one out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now what it looks like on top of the motherboard right here you can see that that does not look too too good it doesn't look like it's spread too much uh, so I think we should be fairly good here I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol and some q-tips here to help clean this up but uh, some people recommend white vinegar and others don't so I'm not really hundred percent sure what's the best thing to do but um, I'm going to leave that up to you. I think rubbing alcohol seems to do the best job for me. And um, I just use a little bit of a, use a Q-tip on it to clean up a lot of that gunk out of there. And then I also just use a toothbrush here. And I go around the whole area of the board to try and clean this up. I'm also kind of going around other parts of the board not sure that anything's needed to be cleaned there but just just as a precautionary just to go through and and uh, just clean up otherwise everything seems to be looking pretty good right now and there's a little bit of stuff there but um, it's in that area of the clock capacitor. It's not going to make too much of a difference, I don't believe anyway. So I'm going to say that this is uh, this is a good and complete job right here. So at this point, I'm going to be putting the motherboard back into the original Xbox and letting it sit for a little while to to air dry and uh, 
then I'll be starting it up with getting it soft modded.